vestibulo-ocular reflex. The vestibulo-ocular reflex, or VOR, is how we keep our vision stable with head motion, particularly high-speed head motion. So if I want to turn my head to the right, but keep my eyes on you, I need to make an equal and opposite timely motion on my eyes to the left. If I want to turn my head to the left, but keep my eyes on you, I need an equal and opposite motion on my eyes to the right. If I bring my nose toward my right knee, if I want to keep my eyes on you, my eyes would have to go up to the left. If I bring my nose toward my left knee, I'd have to bring my eyes up and to the right to keep them on you. If I tip my head back to the left, I have to move my eyes down and to the right to keep my eyes on you. And if I tip my head back and to the right, I need to move my eyes down and to the left to keep my eyes on you. So this is normally what the vestibulo-ocular reflex is doing for us as our head is moving. It's moving our eyes equal and opposite at the same speed as our head motion in order to keep our vision stable. So we can cancel this out if we need to, and sometimes we do need to. Like we might wanna be able to uh, move our head quickly, but see something that's going on. I mean, that's a big thing that would happen in sports, for example. So what happens when the vestibular nerve is damaged to that VOR? Well, normally our vestibular nerve is firing all the time. So it's firing, and if I turn my head to the right, I get more firing on the right, less firing on the left. If I turn my head to the left, I get more firing left, less firing right. Well, if I get a lesion of my left vestibular nerve, well, normally a higher signal on the right side would mean that I'm turning my head to the right, yeah? So normally right head turn means higher on the right, lower on the left. Left head turn means uh, I'll be higher on the left, lower on the right. So if one drops out and I lose that left vestibular nerve, Normally, a higher signal on the right as compared to the left would mean that I'm turning my head to the right. So normally with a right head turn, the vestibulo-ocular re reflex would make my eyes want to turn to the left. So if someone loses their left vestibular nerve suddenly, as is the case in vestibular neuritis, their eyes are going to drift slowly to the left and then they're gonna get a beat back to the right. So essentially what's happening is our vestibular system thinks our head is turning, so it wants to turn our eyes to the left, but once our brain figures out, uh, no, our head really isn't turning to the left, it'll try to reset the eyes when they get to the end of the orbit, and as it's resetting, we get a quick beat of nystagmus. So the nystagmus is named by the fast component, and because we have a slow drift of the eyes to the left and a fast reset to the right, we get a right beating nystagmus. The nystagmus is always gonna beat toward the more neurally active ear, and if we've lost our left vestibular nerve and the right one is the only one firing, the right's gonna be more active, so we're gonna get a right beating nystagmus with that left vestibular nerve lesion. Over time, our system will compensate for this. So in room light, you're not gonna see that after some time. 